हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लास वी आर इन द डिस्कशन ऑफ मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड राइट इन केस ऑफ दैट मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूड वी कैन बाइफरकेट इनटू टू पार्ट वन इज हाइड्रोस्टैटिक्स अनदर वन इज हाइड्रोडायनामिक्स हियर सो इन टुडे सेशन सो वी विल हैव टॉक अबाउट दैट हाइड्रोस्टैटिक्स हियर सो व्हाट्स द मीन ऑफ हाइड्रोस्टैटिक्स हियर सो व्हिच डील्स विद द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द फ्लूड व्हेन द फ्लूड इज एट रेस्ट पोजीशन राइट when the fluid is at rest position what are the properties that fluid can exhibit we can understand in case of hydrostatics here so in case of that hydrostatics we are having applications here so what are those applications so in today session so we will understand about that pascal law here before going to understand about that pascal law so we will understand some basic definitions related to mechanical properties of fluid so in today session so we will have discuss about that hydrostatics so in case of hydrostatics we will use the term thrust or thrust force thrust force or simply most of the time we will use that thrust here so thrust means the force which is exerted by the fluid on the surface of the container we can call it as thrust here for example i will take one container here right in that container if i pour the liquid so this liquid will starts exerting force on this surface of the container force is acting on the surface of this container this kind of force we can call it as thrust or thrust force here so what's the mean of thrust here the force the force acting the force acting on the surface of the container the force is acting on the surface of the container we can call it as thrust force here so generally we will understand that meaning of pressure here so awfully i think you heard that name pressure so pressure means thrust force which is acting normally per unit area the word normally means thrust force which is acting perpendicular to the given area the word normal means perpendicular we can consider here the thrust force which is acting normally to the given area we can call it as a pressure or simply we can consider that pressure is nothing but a, it is the ratio of force per unit area we can call or thrust force is acting thrust force is acting normally per unit area is known as pressure here so generally we can say that pressure in terms of equation pressure is equal to force by area we can say look at here pressure and area are inversely proportional to each other so we'll spend some time to understand about this pressure here so pressure is inversely proportional to area the meaning is as that area decreases so pressure will get increase here so as the area is going to decrease the pressure value is going to increase here for example so i will take one general example so this is one nail you can consider if you are going to try to stand on this single nail so it will penetrate to our palm right so single nail means its area is less here as the area is less pressure becomes more here so easily that nail will get penetrate to our palm instead of that single nail here multiple nails are there so just imagine that here 100 nails are there right so here that multiple nails are there so it means that area is going to increase here initially only one nail is there so area is less now here like that hundreds of nails are present so its area is more now so as the area of cross section is more then pressure will get less here so we are, we are unable to stand on the single nail for example if you are going to stand on that single nail that nail will get penetrate into the palm instead of that single nail if that multiple nails are present means easily we can stand on those multiple nails why because so here multiple nails are present means area of cross section is going to more here as a result of more area 
प्रेजर एक्ट ऑन द पम विल लेस सो एज द प्रेजर इज लेस मीन दिस ने डज नॉट पेनिट्रेट इन टू अवर पम वी कैन कंसिडर सो लुक एट हियर विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट मीनिंग ऑफ प्रेजर हियर प्रेजर इज नथिंग बट फोर्स पर यूनिट एरिया आई सेड सो इट मीन्स दैट as that area is going to change as pressure is also going to vary here so pressure and area are inversely proportional as the area decreases pressure will get increase here in order to feel that less pressure i should increase the area here so if i increase the area pressure act will be less so this is the basic definitions related to mechanical properties of the fluid now we'll understand about that hydrostatics in case of hydrostatics we are having that applications like pascal law first we will understand that pascal law then we'll go for that what are the applications of those pascal law we can understand so the simpler meaning about that pascal law is for example if i apply that pressure at any part of the fluid so for example i will take that fluid in the container so i will apply that pressure at any part of the fluid that pressure is going to distribute in all direction so according to that pascal law so when the pressure is act on any part of the fluid so i will apply that pressure at any part of the fluid that pressure is going to distribute in all direction so look at here so we'll understand about that pascal law here about that pascal law he said that pressure is act on any part of the fluid so let us write it first pressure is act on any part of the fluid any part of the fluid is pressure is act on any part of the fluid is transmit transmit in all direction so look at here according to that pascal law so he suggests that pressure is act on any part of the fluid so that pressure is going to distribute or that pressure is going to transmit in all direction if i apply that pressure at one direction that pressure is going to distribute in all direction right for example in order to understand uh, this pascal law we'll consider one spherical object here right so i will apply that means i will place piston at this part so inside this i will fill with the fluid so inside this fluid is present or any kind of liquid you can consider here i will attach that piston here point a here point b here point c and here this is point d right now i will make it to move down this piston here so i will apply that pressure at point a so i will try to make it to move down this piston right as the piston a is moving down then what happens here as the piston a is moving down as a result of this piston b piston c and piston d so these are also moving away from each other so look at here i will apply that pressure at piston a here so i will apply that pressure in a downward direction right so in a single direction i am applying the pressure here so what the pressure i am going to be apply at that point a because of this pressure the piston at b piston at c piston at d so these pistons are moving away here so what does it mean here i am applying pressure at only one part of the fluid so here i am applying the pressure so this pressure is going to distribute at b at c and point d here so it means that pressure is act at any part of the fluid that pressure is transmit in all direction so i will give one general example so in this container i will fill with the water here so i am applying that pressure at the bottom side so look at here if i apply that pressure at one side this pressure is going to distribute in all direction so look at here pressure is applied at any part of the fluid so i am applying that pressure at bottom side here so this pressure is going to transmit in all direction so this is what about that pascal law here right in case of that pascal law pressure act at any part of the fluid is 
is going to transmit in all direction so by the statement way i said that so about that pascal i said so pressure act at any part of the fluid is going to transmit in all direction mathematical i need to understand that pressure is going to same in all direction right in order to understand that thing i will consider one container here in that container i will place one rectangular prism right so in that prism whatever the pressure is going to act on each face of the prism i will calculate if that pressure is same means pascal is valid we can consider so mathematically i can understand about that pascal law here so in order to understand that pascal law for example i will take one container here so this container is filled with the fluid right this container is filled with the fluid so in this container i will take one rectangular prism here i will place one prism like this right i will place one rectangular prism inside this container right so this fluid is try to exert a force on each face of the prism so this force is f of a i will consider and so this force is f of c i will consider and this force i can take it as f of b look at here if that so prism is placed inside that fluid here then these fluid try to exert a force on that all faces of the prism so force at this part so let us name it as a b and c this one is d this one i will take it as e this i can take it as f here so f of a f of b and f of c be the force on each face of the prism right for example so here i will take that angle theta here right so i will apply that triangle rule for example sin theta i will consider opposite by hypotenuse here so in order to understand that so pascal law so mathematical i can understand that pressure is going to same in all face of the prism so mathematical i have to derive this for example so from triangle a b c for example from triangle a b c sin theta i will consider sin theta opposite by hypotenuse opposite means f of c hypotenuse means here f of b a to c is hypot hypotenuse so i will take this one as f of b or f of c shall i take it as f of b into sin theta let us take this as equation 1 next from the same triangle i will take that cos theta value cos theta which is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent means what kind of force f of a hypotenuse means f of b or otherwise i will write that f of a which is equal to f of b cos theta let us take this as equation 2 so for example this area b e f c this area i will take it as a of a and this area i will take it as a of c and this area i will take it as a of c here so this in terms of area i can write it here so angle in terms of area in terms of area look at here instead of f of a here what's that a i will take so instead of that f of c here a of c instead of f of b here a of c i will consider then equation 1 i can write it as a of c which is equal to a of b sin theta i will name this as equation 3 and similarly equation 2 a of a which is equal to a of b cos theta so in terms of force i written and then in terms of area i written here now i will divide that equation 1 and equation 3 here so wait a minute so divide equation 1 and 3 divide equation 1 and 3 so left side f of c here a of c right here <coughs> f of b sin theta so 
so right side a of b sin theta sin theta term getting cancel out here force by area is nothing but what pressure pressure at c which is equal to pressure at b right it means that so whatever the pressure is going to act on this face the same pressure is going to act on this face here pressure at c which is equal to pressure at b now i will divide equation 2 and 4 divide equation 2 and 4 we can consider if i do like that so equation 2 f of a equation 4 a of a right so here f of b cos theta and here i can consider that a of b cos theta here cos theta terms are getting cancelled out f by a pressure at a which is equal to pressure at b so pressure at c equal to pressure at b so pressure at a is equal to pressure at b shall i write that pressure at a which is equal to pressure at b which is equal to pressure at c so what does it mean here pressure is acting at any face of the prism is remains the same look at here and all face of the prism so same kind of pressure is acting so according to that pascal law pressure act at any part of the fluid is going to transmit in all direction so here pressure at a pressure at b and pressure at c is same so this is the mathematical approach of that pascal law we can